Multiple fires in less than 12 hours, but firefighters say they are not concerned. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is live in St. Joseph, where a business was badly damaged by fire this morning. Crews there are working. Andres? That's right, Cynthia. Right now, crews are in the process of cleaning up. Firefighters are standing by just in case hot spots do flare up. Last night, Ruber Salon and another building used to be here until 1.45 this morning when fire broke out. More than two dozen firefighters showed up to put out the flames as smoke billowed out of the buildings. A brick wall prevented the fire from spreading to other businesses here along St. Joseph Avenue. Firefighters relied on their own water supply and a fire hydrant two blocks away because the closest one here was too hot to use. This was the third call for St. Joseph firefighters since 630 last night. The owner of the salon says that there was so much fire in such a short amount of time that that makes this all strange. However, she is thankful that firefighters have been fighting this particular fire and plans to rebuild. They're working as hard as they can. There's only so much. And then when you have situations like this that occur, no one, no one wants to go through this. We all have families. We, you know, when tragedies like this happen, all you can do is what you can do. You just got to get out there and keep trying. Now, the cause for all three fires remains under investigation. Reporting live in downtown St. Joseph this morning, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. All right, Andres, thanks so much. Now, according to KQ2 in St. Joseph, a firefighter suffered smoke inhalation while battling one of several fires last night. He was fighting a house fire on 23rd and Penn. This morning, he is out of the hospital and doing okay. The fire started in the garage and spread to the rest of the home. Now, the family escaped without getting hurt. And a third fire damaged the first ward bar. The owner of the historic spot told KQ2 that six employees and about 50 customers were inside when it started. It took crews hours to get the fire under control. The cause is still under investigation.